All right, so today I want to talk about MIB in queues. What MIB is, and uh, do you actually need it in your shows? And yes, the answer is that you you definitely do. MIB is one of the simplest um, things to add into your queues and your sequences, and it makes a really big difference in your shows, um, especially for anything theatrical based. Um, but really any show, your any show that you're going to be doing is going to need some form of MIB unless you're manually doing it, which is a pain. That being said, you can still do it. But anyway, so let's jump in and let's, uh, let's do some MIB stuff here. So I'm going to now, I'm just going to store some cues super quickly and actually to do that, hang on, before I do that, I'm going to put my macros here, um, because I want, boom. Okay. If you want to know how to store these macros, you can go check out my macros video that I made. That's a little thing there. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to select these. Boom. Um, I am going to store. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I haven't actually made a queue yet, have I? Take those, fade out. Let's put them in the red. Make it punchier. And the left go back. Great. Store. Boom. That's sequence five. So we'll put that in there. Great, and our sequence five in here, let's just label that one. Okay, so now that we have a queue, and we will run it, yay. Let me put a time of a uh, queue one time three. Let's store another queue. This one, those will go out, these will go like that yay pointed out in that preset or should we do that one yeah we'll do that one and like 100% zoom 100% iris sure why not green all right store q two time three and now we'll take those out and we'll put those at 100 they're in preset there purple with that preset in them great store q three time three okay so now we have some cues so let's clear out of this we'll go over here and you'll see we have three cues in our sequence here one two and three and i'm now going to run them starting from the top uh, you're going to come over here and you're going to see mib mib mode mib fade mib delay all that kind of stuff mib preference let's just see how this runs so we have our first queue and i'm going to run the second queue here that kind of comes in looks a little messy there and now take a look at that. All right. Okay. So there is what the issue. It's this. It's seeing the fixtures change gobos and change colors. You'll see here in this next queue, this green. It's gonna come down like that. In a real life situation, these would all, you'd also see the gobos changing. You don't see that here because this is a three D visualization. But in a real life situation, the gobos would be the gobo wheels be faded in and all that kind of stuff. And this just looks really messy, especially if you're doing a theatrical show. In concerts, you sometimes honestly want things like this. Um, you know, like I'm queuing a show right now and I'm doing a few uh, intentional like non MIBs that I want to kind of have like a, a fixture fading in kind of effect, but it's all very intentionally thought out. And there you see them doing like that. So. Um, we want to fix this and we want to put some MIBs in there. So let's go over to our MIB mode. You'll see there are lots of different ones. Default, which is usually none, although you can change that. Obviously, because it's your default. Uh, let's change all of these to early, which will, this is the only one that's really going to work here. So early, basically, it, the console will look ahead and it will um, prep to see which uh, fixtures are used, um, you know, in what queue, and then it will make them preset as early as possible. So right now, we're seeing this queue, the fixtures down here are gonna come on in a moment. They are already preset it, they are already set. So you're not gonna get that fade time, watch this. So that's gonna fade out and take a look. Those are already there, yay. And now, if we go into our next queue here, the next queue, 
that's starting to fade out, and those are already down there. Okay, so then what's, you might ask, what are all these other ones? Well, the other big one is late. Late is really, it's not gonna work here as much because we don't have this, but let's say you created Q1, which you know had your fixtures, and then you took them out in Q2, and then in Q5 down here, you um, they, are, they come back in. Well, in early, in Q2, as soon as they fade it out, it will move it into their preset position. But with late, it will take them in Q4 and move them to the uh, preset position. Um, it's just more of a preference. Sometimes also, uh, if I have, to, if I, I think there's a chance I might need to go backwards in a queue list um, or in a sequence, then I put it at late because I don't want the fixtures am I being too early and then like switching as they come live on stage as I go backward in queues. So then you might wonder what the MIB fade and delay is. Um, I believe right now the default in MA3 is a fade time of two and a delay of one. That means that as soon as the uh, as soon as a fixture fades out, it will wait for one second and then it will fade to the next queue. Uh, it will fade to the MIB in two seconds. Um, and the one second delay time is meant for like lamps that don't fade out right away. Like if you have an older fixture, um, even after power is completely cut, it might still take, you know, a second before it's actually done. But you can adjust that. You can add, um, you know, a specific fade time if you wanted or whatever, you could add like a five second fade time. You can kind of customize that for the show. Uh, it might be preference, normal, um, never, worst, all this stuff. It's a little bit more complicated. This is really what you need to know to get starting, um, to start setting up MIBs in your queues, in your sequences. It's a really, really great way to just up your queue game and all that kind of stuff. If this video was helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. I love to uh, keep you informed about all the latest stuff that's happening with MA and other lighting softwares and just general lighting mischief as well. So yeah, thanks for checking it out.